Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, why you say it like that, Keith? What get, you mean? Get your ass up. <laughs> get your, I got coffee in me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Probably the earliest pod at 6.36 in the morning. <sighs> it's Thank still dark outside. Um, it's still dark outside. Isn't it always dark, Marquis? Are you saying because of my skin color? <laughs> 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 That's trees. He's jealous. <laughs> He's jealous. Oh, my skin tone? I don't think you're jealous. Uh, 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 sure. <laughs> why not? Oh, yeah. I, I wish I could say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be loud in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus, oh, why, why, why is it so low? Why are you turning my buttons there? Uh, I don't, he don't, he don't want no, go ahead. Go ahead. That's trees. There we go. I don't like that cut short. Yeah, well, yeah, it is what it is. I got buttons, so I can't. I'm not gonna give him shit today. Thank you. I'm um, not gonna give him shit today. Uh, I I went. Uh, I digitized all my uh, all my archive media, so that'd be DVDs, ma- mainly DVDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, and I put them on a on a, a hard disk drive. And yesterday, I saw myself going through. Uh, some old films. I saw some Trigun. I was like, oh, Trigun's there. This is cool. Uh, and then I was like, it's feeling empty. Mm. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh in there. It's mm. feeling empty. Mm. So I go on uh, internetarchive.com, and then I saw God Bless These Souls. They uh, they had Pokemon, the first movie, and Pokemon 2000. Hey. I downloaded that right away. I was like, this is great. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I need to watch Pokemon, the first movie again. Do I haven't it. seen it in a very long time, and I feel like it'd be... Really nice to rewatch it. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I used to l- fucking love that It's movie. such a good movie. Yeah. It's such a good movie. I, I really enjoy it. My mom tried to ruin it for me, and I wouldn't let her. Mm, yeah. That's messed up. Yeah. Come on, Stacey. <laughs> uh, what I, what I, there, there's a few scenes in that movie that I really like. Um, I also like the, now that I think about it, in theaters, they had two movies. They had... Pikachu's Vacation. When you watch it, yeah, it, right before it, it was a short film. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the "What? I, they're fucking revolutionary!" I never heard of a film giving me two films in one. They also gave me my ancient Mew in the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, that my ancient Mew. <laughs> so. ah! <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. I got my ancient oh. I remember it. I remember the guy handing it to me. So I don't give a fuck. You know? <laughs> oh, I love it. I sound fine on the mic. Like, I, my level sounds fine. Yeah. You are listening to the Random Gold, the Golden Podcast. It's a podcast that sees gold. Incoming. Keith and Keen. Best I could do in the morning. Fuck you, bitches. It's it's early. Yeah, my my throat hurts. (laughs) I remember you talking about that ancient mute. Jesus. You're in the early morning? First words I've said all day. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) That ancient mu promotional card, yeah. But did you get it? Did you get it Pokemon first or Pokemon 2000? God, I do, like that's the thing is like it's a one of those uh, it's called a Mandela effect yeah. where you have like a uh, fake memory. I thought it came with the movie. It it I went to the Pokemon. I've never so I'm, what I'm trying to tell them yeah. is I never saw Pokemon 2000, not in the movie theater at least because by that time I think I was falling off of Pokemon. So when I saw Pokemon the first movie, they handed me the ancient meal. That's how I got it. Where did you see the first movie? The, uh, uh um I was a kid. It was here in San Diego. It was it San Diego? It was like by, I think, it might have been the Regal. I don't remember, dude. It was somewhere here in San Diego, though. I saw it here in San Diego. Um, so this, you did get a card, but it was a promo card of Pikachu. At least in the uh, movie theater that I went to. Um, I, th- I think I... Uh, where is it? It's none of these. Didn't they get There us? it is. Where? Let me see. This one right here. You got this for oh, see that. 99. What does that say? Oh, it's Pokemon League edition. No. Oh, never mind. I don't think that I don't think that was it, man. Or maybe did the Ancient Mew maybe come into the with the VHS maybe? Maybe? Didn't they give like um I'm not gonna remember the now. birds. What were the like Zapdos the and Articudo? shit? Did, didn't they give you cards for those too? 
I don't think so. I don't. Know. I don't think so. If they did, I'm not familiar. Well, whatever. Yeah. I, I'll just take the middle finger. Okay, yeah. that's fine. No big uh, deal. Joaquin, you were were you were ta- asking me something earlier. What what were you asking me? Is Twitter the worst website on the internet? <clears throat> I think for now, while I can be entertained by Twitter, I think the debauchery and the just. The negativity that that comes off that app is so insane that yeah, I think like for like mental health reasons, which I said before, I think it's the worst app for sure. I think it it's it could be the funniest <coughs> app, it could be the most horrifying app, and it could be the horniest app, all in one mm. one little cesspool of fucking. It's crazy. You can you can see a butthole. And then you keep scrolling. You see somebody get fucking decapitated. You keep scrolling. You see somebody complaining about a video game that you're excited to see and or excited to come out. And now you're like, well, now I don't know if I want the game anymore because now they're, they're shit oh, all wow. over this game. It's just how it is. It's 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 a crazy app. My, For, I, my favorite thing is that when they show Pokemon stuff on the app. Yeah, that, that's cool too. You know, First, I don't. Follow JD Vance. First thing I fucking see is JD Vance. <laughs> Who's JD Vance for people that don't know? He is the Trump's VP pick. Oh, the guy, yeah. the guy that people don't even like. They don't even like. Yeah, him. they don't like him. Does well, he... now do you think they don't? Which one do you think the two that they don't like? Do they not like Tim Waltz, Tampon Tim, or do they not like? <laughs> do they not like JD Vance? I, I don't even think the Republicans like JD Vance, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, but, but but if you had to compare the two VP picks. I think more people don't like J.D. Vance. Wow, really? Yeah. Why is that? Because hmm. uh, I think that Tim Walls is like someone people are actually excited to vote for. Ooh. You think yeah. so? Yeah, I oh, think so. Oh, that's what the streets are saying? The streets are saying, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know the streets. There's definitely uh, some right-wing people that hate Tim Walls. But uh, back to Twitter, like I hate that it's become like Elon's little clubhouse. <laughs> like, Do you not like Elon? No, I, d- I don't, don't like Elon, doesn't. no. You don't like him either? I, I, I don't have a... I don't like him or dislike him. It's oh, it's okay. funny because in the 2010s he was walking on water for a while. He could, all he had to do is just I, so like not to bore people, but the the biggest reason that he has gone super right wing right now is because Biden has a uh, a chairperson that wants to break up a lot of the American monopolies and uh, Twitter and Tesla. Are people that might be broken up by oh, I didn't know said this. person. So he wants this. someone new in. I I think her name is something Khan, but she's uh they're definitely going to be going after like Amazon, Twitter, mm. uh, just because like they own too much of the market or Tesla mainly because Tesla <laughs> does some uh, monopolistic stuff to own the EV market. How how long? How much? I think I asked this before, but like with the Amazon and shit, how much longer does like Target? Walmart. Walmart, yeah. How much longer they got? Oh, the, it can't be too much longer. Who, who, uh, who says? I think Costco's safe. They might, yeah. For the bo- people who like to buy in bulk, you might be right. I, but even then, like maybe there's going to be an online they, competitor that that they might. In bulk. They, Walmart and and these other brands might need to do that. I think they do do the, they do do delivery, but no, they, no. I'm saying as far as buying bulk. Oh yeah, maybe they might they maybe. might have to do that. I maybe. think the C grade stores like Rite Aid and CVS toast. Like yeah, they're, I, they're fucking toast. The pharmacies have to be the only reason yeah. CVSs are. That's the only yep. reason I go to the CVS is for the pharmacy. Um, I already said like who goes to the mall anymore? Who the, what do you? But that's just me. I online shop, but I feel like. Who like if you need most like basic uh, necessities, you'd be like, oh, I'll just order on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. When was the last time you went to Mission Valley Mall? Man, couldn't, couldn't I, even tell you. Man, the, uh, all this is restaurants. The we the, go there the, to the, eat. I was about to say we go there yeah, to eat. Yeah, restaurants are there, or they're they're gonna stay. But when you start walking around these stores, they're really empty. Yeah, because it's like, what? Why do I need to drive to the mall they, when I can just order it? And they finally here? closed down Bed Bath and Beyond. Mm. Wow. Yep. Wow. They finally closed it down. That's been there since. So they I was have the Target, the comic and stuff. What the, the Foot Locker maybe? But like, who buys shoes at fucking Foot Locker? Who buys shoes at Foot Locker? Right. I haven't bought a shoe at Foot Locker in yeah since you're over school? a decade. Yeah. Oh, okay. I I, oh, I, I might have bought some in no. Not, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe 2010, 2011. Who fucking knows? They don't. Man. They don't. They don't have much time. They don't have much time. <laughs> Yeah. What do you what do you have? 
And, and skateboarding, I'm sure that they do this in in um uh in other outlets of stores that's not pertaining to skateboarding. Uh, they that they'll come out with a like a unique colorway only that you can only get at a skate mm, shop. Mm, mm. So I think I think guys that are trying to really support these stores, they're, they're trying to find some type of way to be creative and, to and incentivize and, them to go in. And then you go into, like, clothing stores or whatever. You like, you're like, oh, I really like this shirt. It's like, you know what? We don't have it in your size. We can order it for you and ship it to your house. Why the fuck did I come here? Is Supreme still, like, a popular brand? In the streetwear I've community? never been in the Supreme, but I know they sold the brand, so I don't know. Oh, like, I didn't know that. Yeah, they sold it. So I don't know, um, like, exactly where they are these days. I have no idea. They were buying, like, $900 curbs that said Supreme on it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I think there's, like, a new thing called Chrome Hearts. I think that's the new... Uh, oh, is it? The new thing. Yeah, I'm kind of get, getting old, so I'm, like, out of that scene, so... <laughs> Uh, oh. I don't really know anymore. Quick, I, quick question for you. I know that you like to be in the loop. How are you getting that now that you're now that you're not now you're starting to say, "Oh, I'm too old. I'm not keeping up with these young kids anymore." <laughs> it's just the uh, I'm just not interested. Um, well, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Um, it's not that I couldn't get it be into it because I'm still like very well tuned. I feel like with music and stuff. Like I'm whatever the young kids are listening to. I'm listening to. Uh, but. Uh, like the the clothing and shit, I just don't like the way it looks. And maybe that's because I'm getting older. I just like, yeah, that shit's ugly. I don't like it. Mm. I, don't, I don't. It's not for me. What would I look like? Where like I, when I see it, I'm like, what would I look like? Where I look goofy wearing that. I'm not wearing that. Mm. Get the fuck. So they, you know, <laughs> some baggy cargo pants. Exactly. <laughs> like. But everything comes full circle. Yeah. Fucking baggy pants were the shit when we were younger. Of course. Yeah, you beat me to it. So uh, Lincoln Park, uh, it was uh, they were at a one of the talk shows. For some reason, I like to see talk shows with artists that I like. Talk mm. shows are trash, though. <laughs> uh, uh, although I give Jimmy Fallon a lot of credit, uh, he won me over. Heard he's an asshole, though. I'm su- really surprised. I've, I've, heard, I'm really, I've heard he's an asshole. I heard who, he's an alcoholic. He's who kind who of an you know that knows him? No, no, no. Just just shit that you hear on the internet. Oh, really? Oh, I yeah. see. Um, he uh, he was he pulled up a uh, Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park, and then they mm. looked up. Uh, they said, "Look at this from Hybrid Theory," and then they showed like Mike Shinoda with like crazy baggy pants, making this weird look with red hair, spiky hair. Yeah. And he's like, "So, uh, what, what you got anything to say for yourself about this photo?" He's like, "Actually, you can't tell based on the way people are dressing now if that that was taken in in '99 or now." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Rock- like you said, to your point, it goes full circle. Yeah, rocking some Lee pipes. What's a Lee pie? What's that? That was an old brand of jeans with the, the fucking huge... They're called pipes because they had the huge <laughs> legs. I used to wear these. Oh, bro, some Holy Lee pipes? Shit. you never seen some... I... I, I heard the brand Lee. I never yeah. heard the term. I've heard, oh, 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 my oh, God. Wow, that is it. Wow. Yeah. Big old jeans, dude. I don't recall seeing these. Those I, jeans look... I mean, they look like early 2000s, late 90s movie. You see some kids wearing some that shit's crazy. Bro, I remember I was not cool because I did not have Lee Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to wear these uh jeans that had like a hook on the side. And I don't I think it was Drew. <laughs> they were like, Oh, you got the, the what's this for? You like it might have been you and Mike. <laughs> they were like, uh, hey, put your no, hammer we in put it. Put your hammer on it. <laughs> so Mike found a hammer and would hang it onto my fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Retired those so quick. Oh man! I used to love those jeans though. They were like Fubu. Uh, oh. They're like Fubu jeans, and the thing on the side, or Sean John, maybe the Sean John. Oh, they're Diddy jeans, and um, <laughs> they would hang it on the hang the hammer on the side. Each little hanger. They're like, what is this for? What is this for? <laughs> Fucking finger in the little hole. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. I've uh, really enjoyed calling people Diddy Junior this week. <laughs> That's a good burn, dude. How? Okay, yeah. We already talked about Diddy last week, but right. do you guys think there's going to be any any celebrities that are going to get exposed? Ah, uh, yeah. Usher's the Einstein art. effect. What's that? The like Einstein? the the Einstein? Uh, not, uh, Einstein? No, Weinstein. No, no, no. Weinstein. 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 I'm sorry, Weinstein. Weinstein. I'm sorry. Weinstein. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from the parties, they're already showing. They they you know you saw Leonardo DiCaprio was at the party. The Bruce Willis was at a party. Um. Just a bunch of... They I got a picture of Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Or the, yeah, was it Aretha Franklin? No, no, it was... Uh, Thurman? Irma Oprah Thurman? for sure at the party. Oprah's crazy. Oprah's crazy. Uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 
I'm sure he hosts a lot of port- parties. Yes, I don't yes. know if they're baby oil parties. I, we don't know. We've seen the clip where P. Diddy's like, I, the regular party's over. Kids got to go. Kids got to go. The real party about right. to start. Yeah. 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 No, at the what, yacht. I, what I'm saying is like, how many celebrities do you think are like freaking out? Like, dude, I was at. One of those parties. I was a, a well, lot of I basketball at, players. I think. I think oh, sure, uh, at, for sure. Yeah. Aston Kutcher, he hung up. Apparently, yeah. the uh, Mila Kunis moved out because of like. Shut up. That's this, no. This is just rumor shit that you're hearing. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw an uh, art because there's like a bunch of stuff about him saying, "Oh, I was at one of those Diddy parties. I can't talk about it." And he was like, "Should I tell that?" He's like, "Nah, I can't tell." Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Fact it. check. Here. Let's see. Let's see. Did Mila Kunis move out over blah 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 blah? Let's see. Well, they and maybe- they were like championing like uh, stopping like childhood trafficking and shit. Yeah, I mean, listen, Ashley Kutcher. I don't know, man. Mm. But like, it was a long time let me, ago. Let me let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you guys this. Let's say you go to a party. You're invited <laughs> to a party by Diddy. And fuck. All you know you is you know you're going to a Diddy. Party. No, no, no. But hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. Let's say you're Ashton Kutcher, whoever the fuck. Yeah. Diddy invites you to this party. You go there. There's a bunch of hot women fucking each other. You don't know what's going on. All you're thinking is, hey, it's popping he's fam- off. He's it's famous. Pop- he's pop. <laughs> he's famous. It's popping off. You don't know what's being recorded or these chicks are on X, Y, and Z. George, you don't know. You're just there. You just got there. invited, yeah. and that's just sucking your dick, or you're fucking like. That's it's like are they re- like are they really to blame as well like I I don't know it's I don't no, know yeah it, it's like a weird gray area like I'm how, with you I'm like, with you yeah they were just invited there and the freak off started freaking off like I <laughs> yeah I don't we, know. we didn't know it was a freak off yeah we just thought it was popping off I saw a funny meme it said uh, would you rather spend a night at a Diddy party or have to become a Raiders fan <laughs> <laughs> mm. Raider fan Raider fan Raider, Raider. Yeah. I was a Raider fan back in the day R- Raider just Nation. because they, they just had a color, bl- color a black jersey yeah. Yeah. yeah and they were super good in this game called NFL Street they had Jerry Rice in that game he was super you could just I remember Jerry Rice You could throw it all the way From the the other end And he would catch it <laughs> This shit was crazy He was so cheap He was so cheap um, uh, what, what was it There was an artist uh, Who's the guy Who's the guy uh, Who's the guy that played The uh, electrode guy In uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and, uh, and Jamie they, Fox, Jamie Fox. So Jamie Fox. Uh, no bro. I forgot the name It's fucking 6 in the morning Shut the fuck up So <laughs> Jamie Fox. There's a there's a famous interview. I think it's the Hot Ones interview where he he was uh, Jamie Fox was telling Diddy he's like, why are you spending all this money on all this type of food? He said, look at this KFC right here. He's like, look at all this money I'm saying. I've seen that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what clip you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so Jamie Fox, man, is he is he to blame? Because because he replenished he replenished the the bodies I, I, of the freak offs. I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid that uh, certain celebrities that we maybe hold dear or are beloved to, like Leonardo or something, are gonna get fucking the hammer thrown on them just because they were invited to a party and shit was popping off. They like, it's a party. Yeah, shit went off. I don't know. I just, I just. Hope Everyone went to a Diddy party. You know, I heard those things were crazy. Did you hear Diddy sells his his music sales are up. What? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Uh-huh. There's a song I've been playing uh-huh. all week. It's been which one? More money, more problem. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that song's just been fire lately. So, it's, been, it's been super. So how does it make you feel knowing that that song was played at a Diddy freak off? Hey, you know, I'm sure some R. Kelly songs are played there too. I play those too. You know. <laughs> Oh, that, that on a distant. Yeah. I fucking hate YouTube commercials are getting out of hand. They play YouTube commercials thirty seconds into a video now. No, and it, I no, and it's a two part ad. Two part ad. Then it's even worse if you're watching it on your YouTube app on your PlayStation. They make you watch a eighty second ad. Wow. Eighty second ad. Fucking insane. Mace was at the Diddy parties. Oh, Mace, for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, I've been playing this song all week. That song. Oh, <laughs> you think I'm gonna stop playing that jam? I've been listening to that jam since I was a little kid. Fuck out of here. Okay. Fuck out of here. So fire. <laughs> um, <clears throat> to move, oh, to go a little bit back, we we're talking about uh, old like fashion styles coming back around. Mm-hmm. 
And I was watching this new show on uh, Peacock. It's called The Heist, I think. It has like Kevin Hart, Samuel Jackson, Terrence Howard, whatever. It's like in the 70s, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And I yeah. know in um, <clears throat> one of the guys, Terrence Howard's character had like really like girl, like girlish hair. Like it was permed. And it was like you would never see a dude wear that these days. But there's always been like sus fashion styles for men and i i just like every era like fuck what the roman empire they used to wear wigs um <clears throat> fucking the, we got we got nail paints now it's just like there's always been let me see what i can find maybe you should put like black dudes i don't know sus black dudes sus fashion <laughs> <laughs> i think femme might be a better oh word. yeah yeah maybe maybe feminine yeah you could put femme Is that how you spell it? Yeah, I'm for just... men. Well, they're showing like new shit. But like, you would have dudes like they would wear wigs. Is that Kanye? Like powder no, wigs. No, it's not. What the fuck? No, it's not. He's fat. <laughs> Who, Kanye? Kanye's fat now. What the fuck is that? Yes. That's Harry Styles in a dress for our audience. That audio is only, Harry so. Styles in a dress. Yeah. <clears throat> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I've um, always thought that a dress looks comfortable. Really? Really? I've never I, thought it like, doesn't look comfortable at all. Think about trying to sit down. But yeah. like, think about when it's hot, you get a nice little draft in there. I guess so. You could wear a mm. kilt. Yeah, I could wear a kilt. Man, nothing. but would that be cultural <laughs> cultural appropriation? Yeah, probably. Is it? You yeah, think probably. so? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. It's just like I was thinking about. There's just been such styles like our entire lives, like. There's always something like guys wearing crop tops in the seventies, or there was the cr cr short shorts and crop tops. Short shorts and crop tops. You had uh, the powdered wigs. You had the fuck. <laughs> now you got. Now it's like you see if you wear nail paint or whatever, it's like feminine. It's like you know who fucking cares, dude. I don't know. You ever oh, paint your nail? nails? No, no, never. No. You never had a girl paint your nails? I think I might have took. It, I probably took it off right away. I I think that's happened to me yeah. before. But I, I mean, you trying to get some pussy? That's different. Yeah. Oh, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I've done it. I've done it. Here you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I know you just try to hold my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna paint something later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go ahead and paint it. You know what white spunk looks like? <laughs> 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 All right, we can move on. Oh, you know what? We we're talking about Diddy. I was watching the uh, Vince McMahon documentary this week. I watched the whole thing. First time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it just came out. Just came out on like the twenty sixth or something like that. That's a that's different than the one of him like the meme where he's waving your. That's an Undertaker uh, documentary. Okay, I believe. yeah. Okay, Wait, what, which one is that? The the meme. He was where special. The, the meme. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, he's oh, like, yeah, yeah. He's, that's yeah, that's all. That's all. Okay, okay. Um, this one he was just talking. It's like talking about his life, and then they kind of talk about the lawsuit a little bit. But they talk about like how many times he's been sued throughout the years. He's really skated by like. For 30 plus years, he's really gotten super lucky. He got sued for like steroids. He got sued for, uh, for mm. alleged rape. Um, he got sued for, it was like sexual harassment saying that she made him, he made her do shit that he didn't want to do. I don't know. And it seems like he only got through all that stuff because wrestling is like, was like under the radar at the time. But now that it's so mainstream and there's so much, um, access to wrestling and so many so many eyes on it he just this janelle grand lawsuit is just it just cooked him he's done like <clears throat> i don't see how he ever but like when i was watching i was like without vince mcmahon you wouldn't have wrestling the way that we have it like this guy built a fucking empire yeah so like what's his legacy after that i don't know i don't know it's uh are you big on that by the way, are you big on legacy? Some folks are. Not uh, legacy. I don't know. Like, what's it really mean? Like, I, at some point, all this shit's gonna be obliterated anyway. Like, what's it really mean at the end of the day? I. It just sucks that uh, this company that he built, even though he's a piece of shit, I get it. But a company that he built, he's kind of being like erased from his own. It's weird. I don't know. Happened, to Steve Jobs. Happened, to Steve. Jobs. No, who? No. Yeah, yeah. Right before the came out with the. <clears throat> the iMac, they had a lot of success with the Apple II. And then they hired some professional management. Oh, yeah. And then he got into it with the, uh, oh, I'm not going to remember the manager name that, that he gave the company over to. And then they they ruled him out. He was a public company. 
And they said, yeah, we're going to shoot you out. And then he starred next, and then that's when he got into the, He bought Pixar from I, George I Lucas. Watched movie, I watched the movie. Yeah. The one you so didn't that, like. It's yeah. a good movie. It is a good movie. That the Fossbender one? Yeah. yeah. He didn't like it because he said... Yeah, why didn't I like it? I, I don't remember. He said because Steve Jobs was an asshole in the world. I was like, he was an asshole in real life. No, uh, That's I thought, what you said. I thought, okay, yeah, I, can, you, I don't remember. I don't they, remember. I don't... I, you know, to be fair, I appreciate Fassbender and everyone that's... And Ashton Kutcher played him too. Um, I heard that one was trash. It, I didn't see it. They weren't... There. It's just... It's lacking the... It's lacking the charisma... Okay, yeah, he was an asshole, but he also, what I failed to see is I failed to see his charm. That's how he got a lot of his way. Mm, mm, mm. I, I always heard he was a good salesman. Yes. Like, that's what he's known Such for. Such a good salesman. <clears throat> but anyways, he got kicked out of his own company, but he came back. Yeah. So, I guess to your point, would you... Oh, here's a good question. Would you like to see him come back? No. 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 No, be, why? Why not? He he was bad for the he he was so as 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 much of a visionary that he was and yeah. as a creative force that he was mm-hmm. in his older age he was making terrible creative choices and that's why I stopped watching it for a long time boomer storylines pretty much dude just terrible and just terrible decisions at end of story like end of storylines or whatever so I stopped watching and a lot of people checked out um, and the only reason I started watching it again because he was out of creative. Mm. So would I want him to come back? No, because I don't want him fucking up the story. We got some really wrestling. Is this? Hot. It's never been this. It hasn't been this hot since the nineties, bro. It, it's like white hot right now, and he'll come back and fuck it up. He'll oh, I it. see. Would you? Okay. Would you like to have him come back as a wrestler, just as a just as a character? No. Okay. Yeah. No. Were, I were just, you not a fan? No, I was. Mr. Man was hilarious. Do rag Vince and stuff. He was hilarious. <laughs> Do rag Vince. I love it. <laughs> yeah, um, I just want them to not. Uh, don't pretend that he didn't exist. That's just crazy to me. Okay. None I, of us would be I here. Respect without, without I respect that. I I just remembered a question that I didn't write down. This oh, is a good one. Yeah. Okay. So I know that like the N word pass isn't real. Not true. Like what? I, I, <laughs> what you have it? Go ahead and say it, Joaquin. <laughs> <laughs> what white people have an N-word pass? Leonardo DiCaprio, Bruce Willis, uh, anyone Seth, that's Seth, in a Tarantino film. Seth Rogen, Quentin Tarantino, Brad Pitt, Ryan Gosling. Who else has w- one? Would you let Ryan Reynolds say it? No. No, nah, okay. he would say it. Ryan Reynolds would definitely maybe have a little too much R in there. <laughs> mm. uh, Cody Rhodes could say it. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> uh, Matt Hardy. Matt, <laughs> Matt Hardy. <laughs> Matt and Jeff Hardy. You know what's funny is Matt Hardy probably does have one. He probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt and Jeff Hardy could both say it. <laughs> um, who else, bro? Uh, there's, there's a few white people. They could say the N word. I'd be totally fine with it. I'd be okay. Um, <laughs> Martin, Luther, <laughs> Martin Luther King has it. Okay. They, they, okay. This is this isn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna ask? The uh, yeah, yeah. I like I like Vince McMahon. You always play that meme. Hey, you you stay here with Stephanie. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Does Vince McMahon have an word no. pass? No. no, he'll just say. He it. does it. <laughs> no, he'll just. He, he does say, it. He oh, said it no. before. That's yeah, why. I know. Oh, no. There's one time he says that John Cena. What's up, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. no. It's so good. Vince is not having. Fuck no, no. No, you, can't. you know, you know, Booker T said it by accident, right? Oh, yeah, of course, it's my favorite uh, clip, dude. Oh, That's a good one. I love that clip. <laughs> oh, Hogan, we come Hogan. for you. It's not because he says it; it's because he immediately is like, "Fuck!" <laughs> 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 it's immediately like, "Oh, we damn!" Want the gold, sucker. Ho, <laughs> oh, Hogan, we're coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> for you, nigga. <laughs> I, he immediately, <laughs> mean jeans, the, trying to keep it together, and the bro. Girl's like, "Pat him, it's okay. It's okay." Yeah. Like, oh, I fucked up. Fucked up. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. You know, Keith, I, I got to really hand it to you, man. Your 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 enthusiasm and your passion is so infectious that that you've you've won me over to see the light and got me interested. Uh, I still don't like to watch it. Uh, I would never watch a WWE event if you weren't in the room. Oh, well, uh, I mean, that's, that's I find it. I, I would never watch it just by myself. Um, mm. You you just make it so infectious. Well, it, it's you. it's very uh, uh, it's very enlightening. And refreshing, rather, because I'm looking at stuff that I told you used to watch a lot of WCW back in the day with DDP. Yeah, and they were so, Kevin Nash. So I, I, uh, I didn't realize how strong the WCW brand was because I didn't watch WCW. I started watching it when WWE got hot mm -hmm. in like '97 or so. So I didn't realize how strong WCW was. Like they were kicking WWE's ass for 83 weeks. They kicked their ass just nonstop. So I never I, knew that. Yeah. So that's why when everybody's like, oh, I used to watch WCW, I was like, WCW, they're fucking trash. Because when I started watching it, WCW was going down. They were they they were doing shitty shit and they just weren't as entertaining. I didn't like. I thought WCW was the B brand. Like they just weren't as good. Um, oh, I knew that wasn't true because a lot of the folks that were in the WWE, they went to were, WCW. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were there. Yeah. So. They had Hogan. They had Kevin Nash. They had Bret they had, Hart. They had, they had Bret Hart. They had everybody. Yeah. Sting. Booker T. Yeah. Sting. Vince couldn't pay him. He couldn't. You should probably watch that episode where they they're in the the WWE WCW war. It's really interesting. Is that in the documentary? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's one of the episodes. It's multiple episodes, so they talk about different stuff. Uh, but Ted Turner was the um, he owned like Time Warner That's or whatever. Right. That's right. And he owned WCW, so he could just pay. He was like, "Yo, Hogan, I'll pay you this amount of money. You come oh, over wow. here." And they all just jump ship. Vince couldn't pay him. Oh wow! I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know that. I heard that name before. Uh, uh, overall, you're, are you pleased with the uh, the documentary? I feel like they they went a little easy on him. I feel like they could have went a little harder. Okay. And or or like got more in depth, like because a lot of the stuff I knew, I knew a lot of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted them to get like a little bit more in depth on some stuff, but yeah, I wanted like more some more insider stuff, but you didn't really get oh. any of that. Mm. So throwing them softballs. Yeah. What you got, Joaquin? Uh okay, I got a good question here. Mm. Okay. How much money would have to be on the ground for Jeff Bezos to pick it up? <laughs> no, there's, there's no amount of money. I don't. Yeah, you know, I think he picks a up a billion. I think he pick. No, I think he picks up a hundred dollar bill. Nah, no. you think he would leave a hundred? If he saw a hundred dollar bill on the ground, he'd leave. He's it. a billionaire. He's, yeah, that his his revenue stream is insane. It is insane. I've met a lot of rich people in my life. They're actually a lot of them are really cheap. I mean, look at fucking... Well, that's that's what you have to do to maintain your money. Yeah. Look at the dude from Facebook. Uh, Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the nigga wears T-shirts and sweatpants. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. He's having a little glow up these days. But see, like, <laughs> if I was rich, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't have, like, fucking... You would have the jewelry? Bling, bling chains and mm. a fucking Ferrari and shit. I would have, like, a nice car... A, a little, ch a little chain. You know what I mean, a, a little nice watch. But I wouldn't be going crazy. Really? Like that. Yeah. No. No. Hmm. no. Uh, yeah, I, I think it'd have to be more than a hundred. Maybe a wad of hundreds. He maybe picked that up. Like just a, a hundred dollar bill. The fuck does Jeff Bezos look like? Look like picking up a hundred dollar bill for that's for peasants. Hey. <laughs> I, I think he'd pick it up. I don't think so. I man. don't think so. I'm gonna disagree. I don't. So. I don't. I don't, so. I don't even think it'd be pick a thousand dollars up. He like. <laughs> He's like, dude, I make that in a sec. Every second, I'm getting a thousand. Every second, every time I blink, there's money in the bank. I remember that guy's so rich. He's so rich. He is he the richest guy? Who's the richest guy right now? I Who's think it isn't it, his wife or his ex wife more has more money than him. I think. I think she passed him. It's it's changed recently. Who's this guy? Who the fuck is that? Who's this guy? As July 2024, Bernard. Arnott is the richest person in the world. Estimated fortune is twenty. Oh, it's a billion? Really? There's no trillionaires yet. So he's two hundred and twenty-six point two billion dollars. He is the French businessman who was the head of LVLuxury.com. Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna get some water, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're Louis good. Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Christian Dior. Wow. Sephora. Really? Yeah. It was Musk, I think, earlier this year. I, I think didn't it's, know that. It's barely changed, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 
Well, according to Forbes, it, it is Musk. It's Musk right now. Yeah. Man, I don't. I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. But that's just my opinion. So okay, so Gates is still on the list. Okay. Yeah. He held that spot for a long time. Microsoft is held up by uh, the uh, work complex, I think. Like, everyone needs, like, Microsoft Office for their job. Oh, know? yeah. They, they reestablished themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I, didn't, I don't know what fucking Warren Buffett does, but he's rich as hell. What do you mean? He apparently... He, he owns Berkshire Hathaway. He's all about investing. I, you don't know his story? What is Berkshire Hathaway though? That that that's the It's an investing firm? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Mhm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good for Okay. All right. Yeah, do I don't think any of these guys are picking up any uh, money on the floor. I think Warren, <laughs> Warren Buffett has like a doesn't he have like a McDonald's sandwich every morning? <laughs> <laughs> like isn't that his like his his story? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a big investor. He owns most shares of uh, C's C's Candy. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Who gossips more, men or women? I think equal. Mm. In gossips in terms of what? I know some gossipy ass dudes. I know some gossipy ass dudes too. Yeah. I'm gonna. S- I think it's a wash. I think I'm gonna a- say it's equal because I have men and women friends, and they both go like, "Hey, you hear about?" They uh, both right, do it. They right. Both do it. <laughs> yeah. They both do it. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I will say I think women's gossip is more mean. Yeah. And men's is more like, hey, nigga, you hear this? Hey, you heard so and so? It's more like. So men's are more informative. Yes. You hear about so and so? We need information. Yes. And women's more like, you hear that bitch? But it's like more like vindictive almost, kind of mean gossip. That's, I got a that's, question for you. Sure. All right. Now, do you guys, can, do you guys consider yourself gossipy? No, I, I a lot of stuff that people tell me I keep to the chest. Mm-hmm. I, I keep it to the chest. Mm-hmm. I would, I would. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say for me, no. I'm, I've always been someone who likes to listen to it. I don't like to distribute it. Correct. And oh, people, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I'm, the yeah, same and, way. And I'm it, opposite. If, if I, like, I, I hate hearing it. Yeah. So therefore, I don't have to deal with it. Yeah. yeah, I hate hearing it. But if you keep it to yourself, people bring it to you. <laughs> yeah, like work wise, people oh. Like, like, oh, I could trust you with this information because you don't run your mouth. I'm gonna keep coming. Yeah, to you. I'm gonna keep coming to you. Yeah, I hate, I hate gossip. I fucking despise it. Leave yeah. me alone. Leave me. No, I don't care. I don't care who's fucking who. I don't. No, no. <laughs> no I like to hear. I'd be like, oh, what? No, like, what? no, no I word? don't. I don't want to hear it. Mm. It's got me out of some trouble though. Some information. They're like, hey, you know, she's with him. I'm like, um. oh. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> well abort, abort that abort, mission, abort. <laughs> abort. Um, so uh, I've been listening to some music this week. Uh, music's been, me too. Music's been kind of, kind of lame lately. Um, Tommy Richmond dropped an album. <laughs> uh, Tommy Richmond uh, dropped an album this week. If you guys don't know Tommy Richmond, he has the uh, uh, the Million Dollar Baby song. Oh song, yeah, baby. yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want that song? It, that song was super fire when it came out. It's played out now. He came out with an album. Fuck, dude. Super good, super fire. Didn't even have Million Dollar Baby on it. Super good. On repeat. I listened to it twice in one day. So uh, yeah, I really liked it. I it's really, I just really liked it. Um, oh, I didn't know we we're saying new music. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> I wanted to say. Kanye probably dropped the worst album this year. I don't think I've ever said that in my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Vultures 2. Oh. I think he's dropped one of the worst albums. He's dropped the worst album in his career, and I think he dropped the worst album of this year. Um, Childish Gambino dropped an album this year. Right. Didn't like it either. I was very disappointed. Um, he They're said, old rich dudes, man. Yeah, but you know what? Gambino really disappointed me because he said this was his last Gambino album, and he barely raps on it. Like, what are we doing? Like, if this is your last one, you should be giving your fans all different types of music that you used to do. I don't know. I'm very disappointed by it. Maybe I'll like it in time, but usually I like Gambino albums immediately. Right, right. 
So yeah, I just wanted to say that because two of my favorite artists dropped stinkers for me, and Tommy Richmond dropped some fire. So mm. yeah, I don't know. Very disappointed. But if you if you uh, got any streaming services, listen to Tommy Richmond. I I, I thought it was super good. What's your song on there? <laughs> it's called Letterman. It's fire. It's fire. Letterman. Fire. 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 Super good song. Super good song. Nice. Um, uh, uh, Oasis. I don't know if you heard that they came back together. Mm-hmm. Um. I didn't even know that, you know, it's one of those songs, uh, fucking Wonderwall. You don't yeah. realize that it's them until you listen to it. Oh, they made this song. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> there, there's this one song called uh, Champagne something. It's not Champagne Poppy. No, that's Drake. Yeah. Champagne Poppy. <laughs> there's this one song called Champagne something. I was like, man, what? A, this is this is some good music. Of course, it's an old song, but I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. Champagne Supernova. Supernova. Champagne Supernova. That's what it is. Thank you, sir. Mm. Um, listen to them a little bit this week. So there you go. There's my there, there's my update of music. Oh, right. So just really filling, you, filling, you, filling that. Yeah, go what ahead. What have you been listening to? God, what did I pop on yesterday? I've been listening to some... Uh, I've been listening to some old, or yeah. <laughs> I threw on some Marvin Gaye yesterday. Hey. Yeah. hey. I fucking love Marvin Gaye, man. Mm. I, I That's some driving music. Yeah. Took his my, story is crazy. Dude, his dad is a fucking asshole. Yeah. Crazy, man. Crazy. I, uh, yeah, I took uh, my girl out on a date yesterday and I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw on some fucking good ass music. And nice. we well, that's drove. why you're taking forever in the chat. I was like, where is this thing at? Oh, yeah. 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 Where's he at? After I realized that we had to wake up at six, I put my phone in the other room. I was like, <laughs> I swear to God, dude. I was, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to fucking enjoy watching Deadliest Catch. I was, trying to get you, I was trying to get you out of it. I was like, we yeah. can do it this day. Yeah, I was trying to too. Like, no, yeah. no, no, no. I was like, well, it's 6 a.m. it is. Yeah. <laughs> do you like Macy Gray? I know you don't. Yeah. I had her, I remember when that song came out. And I liked I it, but try and I choke <laughs> and I walk away and I stumble. I always think about you know what I think about when I hear about Macy Gray. I think about Training Day. You a crooked ass you cop. A cr- you a crooked yeah, ass cop. Crooked <laughs> ass cop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I I'm indifferent. Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I I don't know. Yeah. I just I hated that song. Uh, uh, oh man. Hey, like she looked crackheaded. That's oh, the man. only song she has, right? Uh, that I know of. Yeah. But yeah. she has the she has the one that was in Spider Man. What song is that? Uh, I forgot what it is. Uh, Gotta walk away. Oh, I'll Nutmeg. Stumble. Remember when? Nope, don't remember that song at all. Oh, she was in fucking Spider Man. So oh my God, she was. She was in Spider Man. She sucked, dude. Man, <laughs> dang. I fucking hated Macy Gray. Crazy. I, yeah, no, fuck no. Yeah, Macy Gray, that's the no. homegirl. I, I got a good one. I what got you got? One. Does having a male protagonist affect your ability to enjoy a video game? Oh, easy. <laughs> Keys, what you, go what ahead. Do, what do you mean? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, have- like uh, in Jedi Outlaws. If you have to play as a girl, does that affect your ability to no. enjoy the game? No, so not for me. I, I, for so for people that don't know, yeah, uh, when it lets me create a character, I create a girl every single time. And the reason I do that, one, you always play as a, you always play as a male, always. Okay, I'd say like ninety percent of games you're playing male, and it's like, why do I want to look at the behind of a male? I'd rather look at the behind of a female. That's so, I like that logic. So that's why I create females. And like my friends are starting to see the look. They're like, you know what? He's kind of on to something. He's kind of, he's kind of on to something. I'm gonna do that too. He ain't got me. He they, they, cause they, and they, me. they, cause be like, why you want to be a girl? You like, why? I'm like, you want to control a dude? That's fucking. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> Shuts him up every time. Okay. Shuts him you up every time. Control okay. a dude. Uh, dude. I'm asking that because. Uh, uh, Ghost of Yotai, the preview came out this last week, is the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. There's a guy called a Ghost of Toshiba. And I'm <laughs> Ghost of Toshiba. Like, Toshiba. Come on, man. That game was a banger. I love that game. Absolutely. I so I love so that good. game. 
So, so it looks like you're going to be a woman in parts of it, at least. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, I think the whole, this whole thing. The whole thing, you're yeah. going to be a woman. And, like, of course, there's all kinds of outrage about this. Jedi Outlaws <laughs> didn't sell well. And a lot of people are attributing it to it b- being because Out- you're a woman in the game. Outlaws didn't sell well because it has uh, really glitchy mechanics. Uh, the, 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 the gameplay loop, people just didn't like. Um, I don't like the art design either. Yeah, people and people just didn't like the way the character looked. Um, yeah. Right. They just weren't. It just wasn't the game people wanted. You say it's an outlaw. You say she's an outlaw, but you can't. You, you can't do anything like outlaw ish. You can't. <laughs> you know I mean, you can't run yeah. over cattle. Yeah. You can't like. You, it's just. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make a game like that, make it to where you can make your own player, man. Yeah. If you can make your own character, that would have been. Like if you could pick like from a few species and like like oh that that run that up you know yeah. wow um yeah that's did you play it I I, I did not play it no. okay I'm waiting for that to drop I'll, I'll play it when it drops when it goes to thirty dollars I might play it I'm not paying seventy five dollars for that no, no yeah no, no thanks that looks rough um people that's stupid man watch if so people who don't that that don't want to play Ghost of Yotai because of the chick watch Blue Eye Samurai on Netflix that is one of the best shows, animated shows I've ever seen. And that's a chick. <coughs> Spoiler. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I think that's silly. Uh, I, I really just think that's silly. I don't... I don't if people being outraged about a chick, you get over your fucking selves. I have, my roommate does that stupid shit, man. Because they think it's going to be like a woman empowerment shit or like it's going to be down like talking down on men and shit mm. and I get that but mm. you got to give it a chance first so I don't know man I I, I just think that shit's silly I really do I I, I. Ghost, of, Ghost of Yushima is one of the best games ever made not ever made it's, it, was a really, <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good game Ghost of y- Yotai I expect to be even better so yeah. you guys mad about being a chick? Get get the fuck over it, dude. Get over it. Seriously, get over it. Um, are you disappointed that they never made a Scott Program versus the World game that was not two D? No, no. I heard Just the two D one's really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I liked it. Um, I saw. Speaking of gaming, uh, Newsom passed a law. Yes, saying that uh, stores have to show that. Um, uh, the digital games that you buy, uh, you are not, you don't own these games. You are uh, uh, licensing you're, them. Yeah. Uh, essentially, you're, you're rent- buying a you're, license. You're renting them, essentially. Right. Which is what I've been saying for I don't know how long. Uh, my friends always go, ah, shut up. Ah. I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots, dude. Stop buying digital. Buy physical as long as you can. They're trying to push this shit uh, where you, you buy digital games. You don't own that game. You're just you're just holding on to it for a little bit. You're they're letting you borrow it for a little bit. The second they lose that license, you're fucked. You're fucked, and you have to go buy it from another company. So I'm glad that they're telling people this now because I think a lot of people really didn't understand that. Um, I've told this story like a million times. And what they're changing is the wording, right? You they're, they're changing the wording to say you shouldn't say purchase or yeah, buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what they're going to change it to, but yeah, you're not purchasing and you're not buying it because that would entail you have it for life and you don't. Me and Jabril got in a whole argument about this. Like, oh wow, there should be gamers need more protection because we don't have any. Um, these companies just do whatever the fuck they want. Like, you buy a game for $75, they could pull it offline right. a couple months later because it's not doing well. Okay, so what happened to my $75? What are, you, what are we talking about? Like, I can't play the game anymore? Give me my money back. Run me my money back. It's just, you know, it's nasty shit. Nasty, nasty shit. Um, and I'm glad that they're doing something about it, but there needs to be more. There needs to be more done. Uh, in terms of... There needs to be more protection. Like, if you buy a game that's, like, strictly online or something, there should be, like, if it goes offline, there should be something where I can still play it offline. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, uh, but this this also, you also want this as well, right? So, let's say I bought a song on on uh, on the iTunes store, 
and I get a new iPhone, and then I'm still able to download it, right? Yeah, you should be have. Yeah, the reason I even found out about this was because of Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis said he has millions of songs, and he he wanted to know like when he dies, he could give those songs to his kids or whatever. No, you don't own. They were like, no, you don't own these songs. You license them. What are you talking about? I paid ninety nine cents for these songs, like for each song. Nope. I was ever since then. When I heard that story, I was like, yeah, fuck digital purchase. Damn. Fuck that. Mm. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. If it's not physical, I'm not buying it. Fuck that. So you, you, how far back are we talking about is your collection of games that you still have? <sighs> what era? You still have all your PS3 games? PS3, yeah. 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 PS2? Mm, no, I don't know where those games are. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where those are. You have any Nintendo games? I gave them all to my cousin. Okay. Uh, all my 64 and Super Nintendo gave them to my cousin. What about your Xbox games? I don't remember those. I think Perry has them. Because he had the Xbox, I just gave them all to him. I you gave him had, Xbox, your Xbox One? I you, sold that. You sold it? I sold it. Okay. Yeah, I wanted a Kanye jacket. So I said, <laughs> <laughs> There's a Kid See Ghost jacket with a patch on the back. So no. I got. I only got a few more minutes. Uh, what do you got? Uh, what's one conspiracy theory you wholeheartedly believe? 9-11. 9-11. No. What about 9-11? I'm just talking shit. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, really? The, the government probably had something. They either knew about it or they had something to do with it. I think they knew about it. Yeah. Yeah, mine's definitely, uh, I think that we got alien tech. Hey, listen. Oh. You, at all this solar system, you think we're the only ones here? Come on. I believe yeah. that, too. Oh you, yeah. oh, you think we have the technology? Like, we have some. I think we have some from, like, a crash site. Or like a archaeological dig. That that's Ooh. why they were so protecting uh, Area Fifty One that year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Naruto run. <laughs> um, yeah, nine eleven. Uh, I have one more. Um, I guess I'll, I'll say this for I'll say it for next week. We got uh, Alex Prayer coming up next week. We had uh, what's his name Sean O'Malley the other week. It yeah. wasn't it wasn't that entertaining of a fight. The, the, the Noche fight. The Noche yeah, fight. And the um, Grasso and Shevchenko fight was not that great either. Um, but the fights before it were good. They were. The championship fights weren't that. Like, uh, uh, what's his name? The Rob? The Rob? What's his name? Uh, Marab. Marab. People are kind of like shitting on him and Bilal because they're kind of boring. They yeah. just kind of they just kind of hump on people. Yeah. So I guess my question is, are fighters required to entertain people as well? Are they are we, are they required to be entertaining? No, I don't. Th- I don't think no. so. My answer is no, but they should be because they should be. the second you lose, yes. people want nothing to do with you. Yeah, they're begging for you to lose, and the second you do, the UFC can be like, "Title shot, get the fuck out of yeah. here." Yeah, yeah, you'll never see him again. Like look at Leon Edwards. He exactly. got one, he got a flash knockout, and then he he didn't really do anything after that. The second he lost, get the fuck out of here. Tyron Woodley, the second he he had one knockout win. Every other fight after that, after that was super boring. The second he lost, get the fuck out of here. Usman, get out. Usman, you think Usman too? Usman was entertaining. He has some. He, the first couple were kind of boring. Then he started getting knockouts and finishes. He did knock out Jorge. He knocked out um, what's that other Brazilian dude? Can't remember his name. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think the more entertaining you are, the more chances you're gonna get at a title shot because people want to see you fight. Marab. Who wants to, like I don't really want to see Murad's next fight. I don't, really, I don't Bilal, I definitely don't want to see that. You think I'm paying seventy five dollars for to see Bilal Muhammad fight? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Take him down and, yeah. and hump him against the cage. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm not paying seventy five dollars for that. Hell if, no. If anything, like the UFC, they're like, yeah, we're not. They have to make the fights because they're the I championship. S- I saw a picture where they showed Dana how, about to put the uh, Dana putting the belt around another uh, wrestling humper or something like that. <laughs> another wrestling champion, and his face was all like, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, so yeah, um, I you- say they don't. They're not required to be entertaining, but they should be. They should be for well, their for, for, for their, their own, own stock, sake. their own stock. Yeah. yeah, no one's gonna want to see you fight. Like Volkanovski, he's lost how many times? I still would watch him fight. Any day over any of these guys, over Bilal and Marab, I'd watch him fight any day. He's lost then, at least two in a row. Yeah, yeah, it might be three. Yeah, you you see the meme where Dana's wearing the face mask? Uh uh-uh. no? no. Oh, never mind then. No, it's yeah, it's irrelevant then. Well, 
That sounds like a show, folks. We'll catch you guys next week. It's over. Um, let me see. Oh, I fucked up. I was supposed to play this. Blow, blow like <laughs>